A little pain in the neck. We may have some help for you tonight. Our Dr. Bruce Hensel is here with some help for stiff necks. That's right. They can be caused by a lot of different things, and they vary in severity and in treatment. Almost everyone's had a stiff neck at one time or another. It could start with a cold or a virus or a simple strain that you don't notice at first, which causes pain and spasms within a few days. It can also be a sign of a more serious condition called torticollis. For about two years, it continued to get worse. And all of a sudden, I realized one day that when I was driving, I literally had to lean on my arm to see out the front windshield. And I just assumed there was something. I just had a stiff neck or something, or I was under too much stress, the usual excuses for these things. But Susan's problem is not unique. Although most stiff necks are caused by a muscle strain or injury or simply sleeping on them wrong, some are much worse and they don't go away. I went to six neurologists. Among them um, was prescribed 75 different drugs in varying combinations and even went as far as having surgery and none of them worked. Then she found Dr. Daniel Trung, who was using this drug, a form of the toxin which causes botulism, to treat the problem. After finding the effect of muscle by measuring the electrical output in the nerve, the doctor numbs the area with lidocaine, then injects the medication. Since it works by weakening the muscle, it can also be used for a disorder called spastic dysphonia. Instead of affecting the neck, it now it's affecting the vocal cord. And people which cannot talk anymore, or they talk with a vibration. And sometimes, whether they diagnose the voice tremor, actually they not voice tremor. And some cannot speak at all. This is what it made Wanda Glaze sound like. As the sun came up this particular day, it seemed like any other morning do. This condition is treated with an injection directly into the voice box. Wanda was amazed at her results. I got the injection at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and by 11 o'clock that night, I was feeling very much at ease. The voice had changed a little bit, high and breathy, and by a matter of about four weeks, I was talking with the normal voice that I was born with. Susan got her neck medication on Monday. She had some optimistic words for this patient who was undergoing her first treatment. And as the days went by, I began to feel better and better. And by Friday, I was sitting as straight as an arrow. And it was like being released from prison. Anybody who's had a stiff neck knows that feeling. It can last for a few days. With a stiff neck, it could just be a muscle strain. You can start by trying heat on the area, use a warm, warm washcloth, and some aspirin. If it doesn't go away, though, within a few days, or if it's associated with other symptoms like fever, numbness or weakness in the arm, see your doctor to make sure that nothing else is going on. The problem with these girls is they just let it go on and on and on, turn into something more serious. All right. Thank you, Bruce.